Hey guys, what's up? It's the Olivia Lou 98 show. I'm Olivia and since this is gonna be the last video I probably get to do before I go off to college, I thought I'd do something a little different and review a movie. But which movie to review? This summer's movies have been well, uh, not that great. Finding Dory was incredibly underwhelming and Secret Life of Pets was the most profoundly idiotic movie I've ever had the displeasure of watching. And Jason Bourne was well. I have visual on Bourne. Sir, is there an earthquake happening? Cameraman's just on Adderall. Oh god, that's close. That's really close. So, um, Suicide Squad was a movie that came out in the summer. So I'm gonna review that. So like every other movie this summer, Suicide Squad wasn't getting the hottest reviews. So I obviously went to the Arclight to the biggest screen to go see it opening night. Um, and I waited for the whole movie for it to get bad because based on the reviews, I was waiting for a Hindenburg-sized disaster of a movie. And I was watching the movie and it never got bad. Silly? Sure. But bad? Never. The first half of the movie was actually really amazing. The interactions in the prison were so great, the character introductions were great. It was so good that it gave me hope for Wonder Woman and Justice League, which after Batman v Superman, there was literally none. The action was pretty awesome, especially the elevator scene. <laughs> yes, queen! Yes. And the final battle was pretty formulaic. Okay, what giant CGI ending can we do to justify our budget? I got it. The ending of the Avengers with mud people. That's genius. The best part of the film is the cast. You, you can choke. Viola Davis is so great at being mean. Will Smith was playing the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, playing Deadshot, but I'm not complaining. He was actually really funny. And Jared Leto as the Joker. Wow. We heard about some of the crazy stuff he did before the movie to get into character, like said dead animals, bullets, and sex toys to his fellow co-stars, and I guess it worked. So the next time I go to an audition, I'm going to send a friend a dead pig and an adult toy with no explanation as an offering to the acting gods. To me, what was special about Jared Leto's Joker was that he was opposite of Heath Ledger. Um, because I think trying to go like Heath Ledger would have been too much of a challenge um, and we would have been comparing him the whole time. To me, he felt more like a Joker from the cartoons and I thought that was a really smart move. Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn was sheer brilliant. Margot Robbie really got down to the roots of Harley Quinn's craziness and did it play at surface level, which I really enjoyed. Um, and shout out to that club scene, I did not know Margot Robbie could dance like that. But the star of the show, the real scene stealer, was Cara Delevingne's eyebrows. Wow, wow, wow. On fleek is not a strong enough phrase. I mean like, yes queen, when will your fade? And the Oscar for best actress goes to Cara Delevingne's eyebrows. So much gravitas emotion, charisma. Apparently David Ayer directed the eyebrows separately as they have a mind of their own. One day the eyebrow queen will show me her ways.